Hello, Exercises for Injuries blog readers. This is Rick Caselge with another interview with a fitness professional. Today I'm interviewing Craig Ballantyne, and he's going to chat to us about boot camps and boot camp workouts. So, Craig, I'll get you to you know quickly introduce yourself to the group and give people a little bit of a background on uh, who you are. Yeah, so my name is Craig Ballantyne. I'm a, a trainer here in Toronto. I uh, write for Men's Health Magazine, and I developed something called Turbulence Training, which is a very time-efficient workout system that we use for men and women and, and boot camps, which is probably what we're going to talk about today. Okay, and then what's your background when it comes to boot camps? You've been in, in, in the industry for a while, and uh, so what's your background when it comes to boot camps? I ran them uh, several years ago, and you know, just in a community center without equipment, which is you know why I put together the, the programs I do uh, with minimal equipment and, and also just with body weight only. So I really focus a lot on just as many body weight exercises as possible and, and showing other trainers how to do these types of workouts without having to worry about you know driving kettlebells around town or you know carrying boxes of uh, equipment or stability balls and all that type of stuff. So I was really focused just on body weight exercises and, and showing people, you know, again, showing the trainers how to give their clients great results and also showing my clients how to get results if they had to train anywhere, anytime, without any equipment. Okay. So then looking at, I mean, of late, boot camps have exploded in my area and I'm quite sure in your area as well. What, what are some mistakes do you see that fitness professionals make when it comes to running boot camps? I think the first thing that most people, or not most people, but I see, especially because there's one right beside where I live, is that they make people run laps the first thing, and it's just, you know, it's ridiculous that they would do that. I mean, that's, first of all, most people, you know, if you had them show up at 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning and told them to go run laps for 10 minutes to warm up, uh, they wouldn't be very happy that they're paying, you know, 20 bucks a session or whatever for the boot camp. So I think that's a big mistake. I think what people would be better off doing is getting into the body weight circuits, which is what we have in our program. Uh, I just ran a, a boot camp last two weekends ago in Tampa. I was in a hotel ballroom with absolutely no equipment, and I mean, we certainly weren't running laps around the hotel ballroom. We were just right into body weight exercises, um, you know, traditional calisthenic type movements, and you know, people much more enjoyed that. So, you know, that's one of the first things, um, and then also just you know not. Focusing on form and being really a stickler for form is a big problem that that I see in a lot of boot camps that I've ever observed. And it's just, it's, you know, just because you're training more than one person at a time, it's absolutely no reason why people do bad form. And so, you know, that really irritates me. So uh, that's the second thing. And the third thing is, you know, the next thing there would be a huge emphasis on a lot of abdominal crunches and sit-ups and that type of stuff. And, and we don't put those in our programs just because, you know, reading Dr. Stuart McGill's research and, and his books on, you know, avoiding spinal flexion, you know, we avoid those types of exercises. But a lot of boot camps are, you know, you just have so many crunches and, and, you know, that's just due to lack of variety and knowledge in the trainer. So, you know, that's why we have so many exercises in, in the system that we use. And then I guess one other thing that I see that really irritates me as well is I've, I've seen this um, as I've travel around the states quite a bit, and I see people doing boot camp type workouts on really hard surfaces, such as, you know, uh, brick roads, uh, brick, brick boardwalks around uh, water. I've seen that in Tampa. Um, I've seen people doing it on pavement, on concrete, and if you're, you're running or if you're doing any type of jumping, it's just absolutely terrible to have overweight people doing that type of exercise on that type of surface. So those are four of the biggest things that I see that people are just making huge mistakes. I suppose the one other thing would just be a lack of variety in programming. And that just, again, comes from not people not knowing enough exercises. But, you know, there's literally a couple hundred body weight exercises alone. Uh, and if you have bands or kettlebells or, or dumbbells or something else, then you probably got another two or three times that many exercises. So, you know, having people go through the same exercises over and over again is another mistake. I see. And then, so, you don't recommend you know, running in the boot camp, what do you recommend when it comes to, you know, increasing the heart rate and working on the cardiovascular side of things for trainers and their uh, boot campers? Well, I just don't recommend that you have somebody, you know, literally pay you money to come to a boot camp and then tell them to go and run laps. I mean, I, as a consumer, I would not be a consumer of yours for very long if you told me to do that. And I don't think that people are joining boot camps to do that. They're joining boot camps to have a lot more fun. I mean, they can go and run laps on a treadmill or, you know, do cardio on a treadmill, they don't pay you 20 bucks. So that's why I'm against that. But as, as far as, you know, cardiovascular conditioning, simply by, you know, moving quick through exercises uh, in circuit fashion, plus with some interval training, short burst interval training, uh, you're going to get cardiovascular benefits, plus you're going to get more 
so you really recommend the circuits, uh, the intervals, and with a wide variety of exercise, you end up improving the mobility when it comes to your clients. Yeah, and they're just going to have a lot more fun. I mean, you have to remember, 